Well, Professor Clements with you. We're uh, starting Physics 151 and uh, perhaps some other individuals watching, just general physics course. This course will use trigonometry but not calculus. And a uh, particular course that uh, many students will be uh, using these videos for. This is our schedule for the fall. Um, first class, we'll talk about chapter one, sort of background of physics, history of physics, some units, some approximation techniques. And uh, this will continue into lab on Tuesday. Um, but I want to kind of survey the topics that are going to be covered. So we move in a description of motion in chapter two, uh, one dimensional motion. In chapter three, we consider projectile motion, where things move horizontally and also vertically. So throwing a baseball, throwing a football, hitting a golf ball, tennis ball, lots of sports examples, and, uh, and other things as well. Near the surface of the earth, uh, think about motion in two dimensions. And then in chapter three, we also move to a general description of uh, vector type quantities. And, and these do include displacement and velocity and acceleration. Later we encounter force that's a vector. Um, we have a day on projectile motion. And then we're going to spend a time uh, letting you review the material. Uh, chapters two and three. Going to go into chapter four. But our first exam, September 17th, will not cover chapter four, uh, just chapters one, two, or three. Along the way, you can see the lab topics uh, that uh, we'll be covering. We move on down. Um, our exam two is on October 8th. This is the end of midterm this year, 2014. And we have an exam on that Wednesday, chapters four, five, and six. Uh, fall break of this particular institution schedule, October 10th in 2014. And uh, after that, Chapter 7, Conservation of Energy. Um, and I forgot to mention the other topics up here, Circular Motion and Gravity, big uh, fun topics. Um, talking about uh, momentum, conservation laws that help us solve problems in an easy way, rather than uh, grinding through details. Um, talk about statics and uh, things in equilibrium and not falling over, not rotating, but sometimes we want them to rotate. So we'll talk about how torque causes angular acceleration. And then another exam on October 29th uh, over chapters 7, 8, 9. Again, uh, sort of a, um, a catch-up review day. Uh, we'll start chapter 10, but chapter 10 is not on this particular exam. And then we move on into November, and we have uh, move into fluids, gases and liquids, um, into thermodynamics, temperature, and uh, ideal gas law. And there's our exam with chapters 10, 11, and 13. Notice we're not covering chapter 12 in this course. And then uh, chapter 14 with the subject of heat, how energy is transferred from one place to another, uh, some of the laws of thermodynamics and heat engines come across Thanksgiving in this particular schedule, and then uh, pendulum and simple harmonic motion waves sound finishes out the course at this institution. And we have a final exam. The final exam is not comprehensive for this course. Um, just covers chapters 14, 15, 16, and 17. The registrar has assigned us an exam slot December 11th, 3.15 to 5.15. Um, so that's our schedule. I just want to give that, uh, that kind of survey. And we'll see if I can uh, pause here for a second and we'll go on the internet. So back with you. And we switch now to a web browser. And you should do this uh, soon. Go to the website openstaxcollege.org, and Stax is S-T-A-X. OpenStax College, there's no spaces in that. OpenStaxCollege.org. This location has free college-level textbooks that are of excellent quality. They've been developed uh, and do replace uh, books in uh, some subject areas with an equivalent high-quality textbook. 
So this is the third year at this institution that I'm using one of these. Here's some others that they have available. So you go to openstaxcollege.org, click on books, click on physics, and tells you a little bit of the background. And you can get this book by clicking over here. And you can click on PDF and download the PDF file, or you can read it online. Um, as a version for uh, for tablets um, and cell phones, most likely I've not tried that. Um, so that is uh, that is available. You can buy a copy. None of my students have ever done that, to my knowledge. But uh, uh, I, I, you you really need to download the free PDF version um, and uh, and use that or the WebView has an equivalent version. These have active links in them where you can click and go to extra resources, extra helps uh, to uh, aid you as you study physics. I'm going to go here to more resources for physics. And we're not using WebAssign, we're not using ExpertTA, we're not using Sapling Learning, uh, we're not using Elon Kappa. Uh, you should go to student solution manual and uh, you may want to uh, take a look here at uh, um, this free study guides on how to succeed in physics but uh, let's go to the student solution manual and again we have here a uh, PDF file that you can open this has step-by-step -step solutions of uh, some of the problems at the end of the chapters so there's our introduction to uh, OpenStaxCollege.org and our physics textbook. And with that, I'm going to stop this video, and uh, we'll see you in other videos.